Macy, let's get a move on. Hey. Come on, lazy bones. We're yeah. gonna be late. Coffee. Oh, kids are just growing up so much faster these days. Ready? What about breakfast? That is not breakfast. I need you to sign my math test. What happened? I got a 61. I can see that. Why did you get a 61? Okay, fine. I'll just get Dad to sign it. I know things have been a little bit rough the last few months, but that doesn't mean you can let it affect your grades. It's one bad test, Mom. It's one bad math test. Didn't I just sign your English exam last week? It's not a big deal. It is a big deal, honey. You're applying to colleges, and you want to get a scholarship? Well, I didn't have time to study last weekend. I see. I'm sorry that I don't want to study the whole time. I see. I'm gonna be late. We're gonna discuss this tonight. Sure. Ah, not so fast. Breakfast. Oh, wow, Mom. This is too much. Okay, you have everything you need. Backpack, banana. I think I'm ready for whatever the day throws at me. Let's pray home after school, okay? I should be home by three. Which means eight. Hey. Have a good day, okay? I love you. More than anything. See you today. Hey, what you doing? Mom's home cooking. What's this? Oh, you're still doing that? Yes, I'm still doing that. You have your newspaper, and I have I... your post pictures of bananas on the internet. Hey, it's, it's been picking up since my... Since your dad left. Fine. So you logged your banana. <laughs> but how'd it go with your tests? Uh, well, my dad signed history and my mom signed math. So neither of them know how you're actually doing. Well, neither of them actually care, so... Hey, why don't we hang out this weekend? Make some cookies, study a little. You don't have to study, but I do need cookies. Mm. And I can help you get caught up. Yeah, I'm kind of a lost cause. Hey, watch what you say about my friend Lacey. Just had a couple bad tests. I'm sure Mr. Bullen will give you extra credit if you ask. Yay, homework. Hey, this is me, Harper, best friend since kindergarten, co-survivor of the attempted dire hair red in eighth grade. <laughs> Let me help you with this. Fine. OK, so after <laughs> oh, oh. oh, sorry. I didn't see you. I noticed. I didn't mean to. Don't worry about it. Uh, you can make it up to me by telling me how to get to Mrs. Waldron's homeroom. Trust me, you don't want to go there. <laughs> no, but I'm supposed to. <laughs> She's my homeroom too, so I'll just, you can come with me. Are you new here? Yeah, I just transferred from West Hills. Cassie Larson. Lacey, this is Harper. <laughs> so what brings you to North Haven? Uh, I'm here because of my truant officer. <laughs> I'm joking, my mom got a new job. A new job? My mom got one of those. Oh, is it ruining your life, too? No. Sort of. <laughs> uh, my, my parents just got a divorce. A divorce? My mom just got one of those. Sorry to hear that. So was I, especially when I found out it meant... Lucky. <laughs> Northside's not so bad. You'll like it here. It's too late. I already decided not to. <laughs> <laughs> Relax, Annie Camden. Um, was that a Seventh Heaven reference? Guilty, I am a huge nerd. Oh my gosh, I, I was blogging about it last week, wasn't I, Harper? Yeah, you love your 90s TV. Oh my gosh, me too. <laughs> well, uh, we should get to class. Um, see you at lunch? Mm -hmm. Okay. She seems sweet. Do we like her? Harper? We've been friends since kindergarten. <laughs> but. No, no, but. But if there was a but? She can be a little sweet. <laughs> it's, just, it's been rough since the divorce, and she just tries to make everything better. And you just want to be ticked off for a while. <laughs> I think you and I are going to get along. <laughs> Come on, pick up. You've reached David Carter. Please leave a message. 
David, it's about Lacey. Please call me back. Sorry, Nina. Everything okay? Lacey's failing math. She's still having a hard time, huh? Honestly, I, I don't know. I'm worried about her. I feel like ever since the divorce, she's just been completely shutting me out. Well, what about David? He's checked out. I don't know what they're doing during their weekends together, but it's not math homework. <laughs> I just hope I haven't screwed things up forever. She'll bounce back. Yeah. Hope. You're a good mom. She's a good kid. Just give her time. Thanks. So, are we all set for the Mitchell deposition? Is that today? Whoa. It was a joke. We're all set up in the main conference rooms. <laughs> Sorry. I'm a little in it. <laughs> I feel like I haven't slept in weeks. Look, I know you've been out of the game a while, and this is a tough case to try to pick up where you left off. I don't know. I'm fine. I can handle this. I... You did a great job with witness prep. I knew it was coming. My parents were fighting all the time. When they started talking quietly, I knew what they were talking about. At least you had some kind of warning. I mean, my parents never really fought. They just kind of quit talking. And one day I came home and my dad didn't. I'm sorry. You know what? I, I actually hate those words. I'm sorry. Like, everyone says it like it's so much better if they feel bad. Your, your dad left us. I'm sorry. <laughs> we blew up your life and now you never get to see us anymore. <laughs> Hey, I was looking for you. Well, Cassie and I have the same schedule, so just came to lunch together. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, okay, I have to stay a few minutes after school to help Mr. Carr with the newspaper. Newspaper office at 3.30. Uh, Cassie's actually giving me a ride home. Oh, okay. So, just meet you at your house? Oh, you're coming too? What? To Lacey's. I invited Cassie over. I thought we were going to study. We have all weekend. I know, but Lacey was just going to give me the lay of the land since I'm new here. You don't mind, do you? Of course not. So, Lacey tells me you guys have been friends for a really long time. Basically forever. It's great. When my parents got divorced, I found out who my real friends were. Some people just didn't want to hear me out. Well, Harper is a great listener. Well, it's nice to have somebody who'll just listen without trying to fix things. Meaning? Nothing. Just... Divorce just sucks. Harper, you, you don't really get it. Cheering up and studying and looking on the bright side, it just makes things worse. I know it feels that way, Lacey, but you can't just wallow. Sometimes with... people need to wallow for a little while. And you, you can't make everything better. Well, when you're done walling, let me know so we can study. Harper. Harper. Harper, come on. Did I say something? No, no. It's. We've just been having tension. Really? Harper doesn't really get it. I mean, I, I've been writing about it on my blog, actually. Um, I know it's been an issue for a while. I had no idea. Thank you, gentlemen. We'll be in touch. That was a complete disaster. This is me not correcting you. I'm sorry, I should have spent more time with the jurisdictional issues. Hope, it's not your fault. He ignored everything we talked about in witness prep and talked himself right out of summary judgment. Idiot. You know what this means? We're going to trial. But the good news is, is we are about to get way ahead on our billable hours. Yeah. I'll get the takeout menus. It's gonna be a long night. Hey, you ready? Yeah, I was just looking for Harper. Oh, well, I'm sure she's fine. Come on, let's get out of here. Come on, let me take you home. <laughs> you know what? We should just skip school tomorrow. Um, no, my mom would kill me if I did that. Oh, you don't know until you try. Uh, no, 
Trust me, I know. Okay. <laughs> of course she isn't home yet. I got a 61 on my math test and she totally freaked out. 61 isn't that bad. It's more than half. See, math. <laughs> yeah, you should try telling that to my mom. It's just a test, she'll be okay. Parents are resilient. Speaking of... Hey, Mom. Hey, sweetheart. It looks like I'm gonna be stuck here for a little while longer, so... Why don't you order pizza for dinner and I'll be home as soon as I can? I would, but I still think I have some pizza left over last night when you called and said the exact same thing. I'm sorry, Lacey. Things just got a little crazy, but I, I promise they're gonna settle down soon. How was your bio test? I don't know. Uh, I get my grades back tomorrow. <laughs> Are you with Harper? Cassie. Who's Cassie? Yeah, she's she's new. I'm just showing her around. Lace, I gotta go. Okay, I'll see you soon. I love you. You too. I mean. Let me guess. She's going to be late. Wow, you are so good at this. I have some experience. <laughs> so, Lacey, I have to ask you a really important question. Did I hear you say you have pizza? <laughs> Come on. Hey, I can't find Wagner versus Robinson in my notes. Where'd you pull that from? Oh, it's a federal case. Third district. That explains it. What's up? Oh, Lacey's waiting for me. I promised her I'd be home hours ago. We're in the middle of strategy. I know. I'm going to work on it from home. Nina, Lacey needs me right now. I have to go. No, I understand. I understand. But I need your brief tonight. You'll have it tonight. I promise. Okay. Get out of here. Thank you. It's just always the same. You know, mom's at work. Dad has a date every weekend. I, I swear, if I light myself on fire, they wouldn't even notice. <laughs> it's definitely worth a shot. But a little fire. Nothing big. <laughs> Just enough to get their attention. Yeah, right. <laughs> You're reheating pizza. But you accidentally left the pizza box on the stove. You were so busy studying that you didn't. And then? <laughs> you should see your face right now. You're insane. Oh, come on. I was totally kidding. <laughs> Honey, I'm home. Wow, eight on the dot. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Hey there. Hi, Mrs. Carter. I'm Cassie. Thanks for having me over. You're Lacey's new friend. Yes. I just transferred in. Oh, in the middle of the year. Well, her parents got a divorce. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, it is getting a little late. Oh, I know, but Lacey and I were just about to start studying. We have this English quiz tomorrow, and we went over the material at my old school, but now there's this new book, so I thought we could help each other out. Well, I'm very happy to see you're making an effort with school. Mm -hmm. Why don't you guys study up in your room? And just don't make it too late. Okay. Oh, thanks, Mrs. Carter. Oh, no problem. What is it? Nothing. You're just exactly how Lacey described you. She's very lucky. Okay, so we're not actually going to study. I don't know anything about English except how to speak it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it worked. My mom thinks her a hero. Oh, really? Are you kidding? She never lets anyone hang out on a school night, except for Harper sometimes. Yeah, well. <laughs> what? Nothing. I just, I kind of got a weird vibe from Harper today. A weird vibe? I don't know. I just, I don't really trust her. Oh. Really? You know what? It's... It's probably nothing. 
Wait. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> um, just a blog posting about new friends. Oh, please don't. My hair looks so bad today, and you got a chance to straighten yours. Are you kidding? You look great. Ew, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> let's try again after I'm finished unpacking, and I can actually condition this mess. You're crazy. So I've been told. <laughs> So nice making you a friend so quickly. See you tomorrow? Yeah. See ya. See ya. <laughs> she seems nice. Yeah. No, oh, she's great. How did studying go? <gasps> it was fine. And where's Harper? I don't know. Everything else. Yeah, Mom, everything's fine. No, I can make new friends, you know. No, I never said you couldn't. Are you sure everything's okay? Everything's fine. I'm just, I'm tired. I just want to get to bed. Okay. Have a good sleep. Mm. I love you. I love you too. Can I sit? What's going on? Just over here, not wallowing like some kind of monster. Harper, I know things have been tense between us, but I, I really don't want them to be. I don't either. Okay. So we cool? Well, I'm cool. You're kind of lame. <laughs> <laughs> so what about tonight? What about it? A little bit of baking, a little bit of studying. I uh, got my bio test back. 62. So a little baking and a Ooh. lot of studying. <laughs> so after school? What's happening after school? Um, nothing, just Harper and I are gonna study. Oh, perfect. Do you mind if I crash? I am completely lost. Harper's a great teacher. She can catch both of us up. <laughs> the more the merrier. Awesome. Whew. Where are you going? I, um, have to finish the final proof for the newspaper so I can get it to the printer by Monday. Okay, well, see you later. See ya. No. No, she doesn't like anyone as much as she likes being editor of the paper. Yeah, she, um, she won a student journalism award last year for an investigation on the school board. So, she's kind of a big deal. Impressive. <laughs> so, do you mind if I sleep over at your house tonight? My mom is getting the new place painted and it reeks. <laughs> yeah, I don't think she's gonna go for a sleepover, especially when she sees this. Ooh, so yeah. don't show her. Just decide it. The teachers here are big on parental involvement and communication, which is ironic seeing as I have neither. You said this wasn't your first bad test? Bio, English, math. Mm. <laughs> Hope Carter, your mom is still using your dad's name? Yeah. Why? Just making sure. Do you mind if I borrow a pen? No. <laughs> Here. Ready. Wait, you can't do that. Are you sure? Because I just did. Oh. <laughs> Wait, how did you do that? 
counselor says I have a real future in fraud and forgery. <laughs> Just tell her the test was fine. But she's, she's gonna know the truth when she sees my report card. It's not until the end of the quarter. You will be caught up by then. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> so I will grab my sleeping bag after school and meet you at your house. Okay. See ya. See ya. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Good. I think I found a precedent we can use to get the accountant's testimony excluded. It's a little obscure, but... What? Tom came down to your office last night, and he noticed that you weren't there. I mean, it's not a big deal. I covered for you. I told him that I sent you to the law school library to do some research, but... But I was working from home. You got my brief, right? Yes, and it was great. But Tom's old school. He wants to see butts and seats. But Nina, you know my situation. I but I can't keep covering for you. No, of course not. <laughs> what should I do? I don't know. But I'd make sure the next time he comes down to your office, you're there. Okay. For bio and chocolate peanut butter for English. Well, that's a lot of cookies. But maybe not enough. We completely neglected the oatmeal category. to be done by the time you guys got here, but you said you wanted cookies, so... So you broke into Lacey's house? Didn't break into her house. Lacey showed me where the key was hidden, so I blew up last period, and I... Surprise! <laughs> you don't mind, do you, Lacey? Well, who minds freshly baked cookies? Mmm! Uh, Yum! So, now let's try it with Ran. I ran the race. Is that transitive or intransitive? <laughs> uh, transitive? You got it. What about while she listened to music, she ran? Intransitive. <laughs> and insanely boring. I know it's kind of dry, but it's going to be on the test. Oh, I think I'm going to have the flu that day. <laughs> you were the one who wanted to study with us. Hey, I need to get my grades up. Okay, Willow Rosenberg, don't go dark on me. Let's plow on. Okay, let's do one more so that we're sure we've got it. She dances. Okay, so English is hard, <laughs> but I think you really got it. So what's next? Probably history. We can save STEM for tomorrow. Uh, actually, I have to call my mom really quick. Do you mind if I use your room? Yeah, sure. Where's your mom? Well, it's eight, so she'll probably be home soon. She's still working a lot, huh? Don't worry, I'm not gonna try to fix it. <laughs> you know you're always welcome at our house, Lacey. My mom likes you better than she likes me. Um, your mom doesn't like anyone better than she likes you. <laughs> okay, but it's close. Come for dinner next week? Yeah. We should get back to it. Okay, but can we just go into the living room because I need a change of scenery? I'll go get our stuff. Okay. Sorry, Hope. I thought, um... Is everything okay? Yeah. Fine. I shouldn't be in here. I'm so sorry. Okay. Hey, where were you? Oh, I was... Nothing. Uh, where's Cassie? Right here. I didn't see you in Lacey's room. Uh, 
Uh, my mom didn't pick up, so I had to use the bathroom. Is that okay? Let's just get back to studying. Sweetheart. How was your day? Eh, you? Nah. <laughs> what are you girls studying? Harper got us through English. <laughs> and now we're on to history. Transitive and intransitive verbs. Thanks, Harper. <laughs> How did your bio test go? I got a 96. What? Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> you are really turning things around. I guess all that tutoring really is paying off. Yeah, I guess. Have you girls had dinner? Not yet. Oh, I'll order something. Chinese? Ooh, yeah. <laughs> I'm really proud of you, honey. Thanks, Mom. Well, that went well. Maybe next time try for an 85. You don't want to raise suspicion. <laughs> That's my mom. I'll be right back. Okay. All right. Well, what next? Civil War. Ninety-six. I saw your test, Lacey. What are you doing? I'm trying to get my mom off my back. By lying to her. You think she won't see your score when she signs your test? <laughs> She's not gonna sign it. What do you mean? Nothing. Just don't worry about it, okay? Lacey, is Cassie putting you up to this? What? No. No. <laughs> you just study. <clears throat> yep, and an order of spring rolls. Great. Thanks. Yeah, yesterday. Yeah, I was busy. Well, I think that your daughter takes precedence over your girlfriend. I was busy with work. I you on the phone all night. Well, David, I'm worried about our daughter, okay? Her, her grades are slipping. She barely talks to me anymore. She's making new friends. Okay, hang on, sorry. She's making new friends? That's a problem now. No, but... Okay, well, look, she told me that... She was struggling a little bit in history, but she was pulling it up. I signed her test. What, history? Yeah. David, I just signed three tests for her other classes in the last two weeks. Oh, okay. You know what? I'll talk to her. Okay. Well, I mean, she is trying. She's studying with Harper right now, and she did really well on her bio test yesterday. Oh, great. So what's the problem? The problem is I didn't know any of that yesterday when you didn't call me back. Yeah, or maybe... The problem, Hope, is that you're overreacting again. I am not overreacting. You've been overreacting ever since... Since what? Since I found out you were sleeping with your secretary? Okay, you know what? This conversation's over. I'll talk to Lacey on the weekend. David. It's like you have nothing to lose. What does that mean? I don't think she's a good influence on you. Okay, I'm back. Let's <clears throat> buckle down. <laughs> Transitive phrasal verb. Okay, so let's start with Gettysburg. So? How was the studying going? It was fine. Better than fine. Harper really knows her stuff. Well, she takes after her sister. How's Dana liking NDSU? Good. She's coming home this summer for her internship. Um, tell her we have to hang out because I want to hear all about college. I will. <laughs> and Cassie, how was your first week at your new school? It's been great. Way better than expected. I feel so lucky to have met Lacey and Harper. And my old school girls just like to tear each other down. Well, that's, that's great. <laughs> yeah, I feel really lucky. It's nice having help getting caught up on all my classes, and it's nice having somebody to talk to about the divorce, especially someone who understands. My parents got divorced around the same time you did, and for the same reason. I remember I was so angry. 
cheated on my mom, but... Wait, what? Mom? Honey, we can discuss this later. No, we can discuss this right now. We didn't want to say anything. We didn't want to make this any harder for you. Y you didn't know. Lacey, I'm so sorry. Harper, you didn't tell me that she didn't know. What? Yeah, you told me you were digging around to find out what happened so you could help, but you didn't tell me. That I never said anything. You knew? Lacey, I swear I didn't. Honey? Lacey. <laughs> Wait, I'm so sorry. Hope, I swear I never said anything. I would never. Harper, is that what you were doing upstairs? Snooping around? No, I I thought I heard something, but... You know what? It's getting late. Went home. But I didn't do anything. We can discuss this later. <sighs> I hate them. I can't believe he cheated and and they didn't tell me. How long was this going on? Harper didn't say. I really don't know, Lacey. She she didn't tell me. And she was looking into their divorce? Don't be too hard on her. It's like you said, she's a journalist at heart. She cares more about the story than she does her friends. And she told you and not me. I, I think she must have been trying to show off to try and get me to like her, I guess. I'm so sorry, Lacey. I just can't believe it. There's no one in my life I can trust. You can trust me. Thanks, Cassie. I don't know what I would have done if you weren't here. What are friends for? <laughs> oh. Thanks. So he denied our continuance. But he granted our motion to exclude the accountant's affidavit. Great work on that. Yeah, for what it's worth. It's worth a lot. Look, we're going to trial in two weeks. I'm coordinating the expert witnesses. I want you to draft an opening. Okay. I've been thinking about a David versus Goliath angle. The bank was after a small businessman. Yes, it's perfect. If we get the jury to focus on... Who's that in your office? Business hour. Oh, he doesn't have an appointment. Excuse me. Hey. I know we've had our problems, Hope, but I never thought you would deliberately hurt our daughter to get back at me. Nice to see you too, David. I don't want to play these games. I'm not messing around here, hey. son. Keep your voice down. I will not keep my voice down. Hey, you were in my office with my boss last night. Okay. If you want me to lose my job, keep doing what you're doing. But if you don't want to see your child support payments double because I'm unemployed, I suggest you shut up and listen to me. Now, I'm not the one who told Lacey about the affair. One of her friends did. Who? How would they know? It doesn't matter. Well, now she's not talking to me, Hope. She texted to say she's not coming again next weekend. She won't return my call. She's not talking to me either. She didn't say a word to me all weekend. Well, you could have given me a heads up. And you could have answered your phone. I called you four times. It's not exactly the kind of... So what do we do now? I think we sit Lacey down and explain everything. Uh, yeah, sure, because, yeah, it's fine for you. You weren't the one who... <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. When? Tomorrow. Yeah, I'll come over after work. Great. I'll be home at 8. Well, who's taking care of Lacey? She's 17 years old, David. She can look after herself for a few hours. Well, I don't like the idea of her being alone at home for hours on end. I don't like it either, but I'm not the one who left. I'll see you tomorrow. I tried to call you all weekend, but you didn't answer. And you didn't take the hint? Lacey, please listen to me. I never told Cassie your dad cheated on your mom. I didn't know he cheated. How could I? Cassie said you asked. Asked. 
people at his office, people here at school. So, so now apparently everyone knows. Thanks for that. How would anyone at school know anything to do with your dad? That makes no sense. Oh, and my mom told me that she found you looking through her closet. What's wrong with you, no. Herbert? Lacey, none of this is true. So my mom's a liar now? No. I was in her room because I thought I heard something. I think... I think Cassie was in there. Okay, so what you're saying, Harper, is that Cassie moved here, met me, dug into my parents' divorce, found out that he cheated, and told me all within 48 hours. How would she do that? I don't know, I see. But I know it wasn't for me. Cassie was right. What? She said... Look, I... I'm sorry, Harper. I, I really don't know what to believe. Bird make us dissect fetal pigs. Why can't we just cut up frogs like normal teenagers? Yeah. Hey, what's with you? You've been quiet all afternoon. Nothing. Just, um, maybe I should talk to Harper. So you can tell her off? Yeah, you should definitely do that. No, so I can hear her out. Why? Because maybe it was just a misunderstanding. Lacey, she... I already told you what happened. Are you saying that you don't believe me? No, but she's been my best friend since kindergarten, so. I don't know. Well, sometimes when you don't know, it's okay to let other people know for you, and I know the friend that you thought she was. Yes. Come on, I'll get you a caramel chino. Yummy. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Carr, it's Harper. I'm, uh, I'm so sorry to bother you, but I'm at the printer with the newspaper, and my login just doesn't seem to be working. Um, it says I need administrative access. I would come back, but I have to be home in 10 minutes, uh, to babysit so my mom can go to work. Can I just use your login, and I promise to forget it? Thank you. Yeah, I'm ready. JT Carr? Is that all lowercase? Okay. And Mr. Carr, one, two, three, four, five, six is not a password. I'll help you change it tomorrow. Okay. All right, thanks. Lacey, how was your day? Lacey, you are this close to inheriting my old flip phone. How was your day? It's fine. Okay, I'm happy to hear that. I need you to call your father. Why? Because he came by my office today and said you weren't going to see him this weekend. Yeah, because I don't want to see him this weekend. Lacey, I know you're upset. And you're not? He cheated on you. Of course I'm upset. I'm furious. And I'm heartbroken. And I'm even more furious and heartbroken because I wanted to protect you from being furious and heartbroken. So yes, I'm upset. But he's still your father. And you need to talk to him. 
Will you call him tomorrow? Are you hungry? I ate dinner already. Have you done your homework? Lacey, I schedule meetings with all your teachers. Why? Because your father told me you're failing history on top of everything else. You lied to me. I didn't lie to you. I just didn't tell you. Either way, I'm meeting with your teachers. I want to know how you're really doing. Mom, it's not up for discussion. Look, I love you too much to let you keep sliding. I told you I'm doing better. And if your teachers tell me the same thing, you have nothing to worry about. If you need help with anything, let me know, okay? I'll be in the kitchen. Hi, Harper. I don't think Lacey's up for talking right now. Actually, I'm here to talk to you. First of all, I just want to say I am so sorry for what happened on Friday. But I swear to you, I had nothing to do with it. Then why did Cassie say you did? I don't know. But that's not the only thing she's lying about. What's this? This is Cassie's student record. Harper, how did you get this? Please, just listen. You see here? West Hills High, like she said. Right, like she said. I called the school today, and they have no record of anyone by Cassie's name ever attending West Hills. Maybe they lost her file when she transferred. They also said they have no record of anyone transferring to Haven High since the beginning of the year. I also called her elementary and middle school district. They have no record of her either. So what are you saying, Harper? She says she is. Isn't it more likely that there's a reasonable explanation? Like, maybe Cassie changed her name after the divorce and they have her old name in their files. I thought about that, but what if Cassie... Listen, Harper, I am very impressed by your journalistic instincts here. But if you and Cassie are having issues, I suggest you work it out between yourselves. Hope, please. Something isn't right here. Just promise me you'll be careful with Cassie. I'm telling you, there's something wrong with her. I don't trust her, and neither should you.
Hey. So, your opening statement. You have notes. Just one. It's kind of big. You're brilliant. <laughs> what? It's perfect. The whole part about how Mr. Davis built his business to support the community, it makes me think that we should counter sue. Thank you. <laughs> and I'm not the only ones who think so. Who thinks we should counter sue? That you're doing a great job. The partners want to meet with you this afternoon to discuss trial strategy. But, but Nina, you're first chair. And as first chair, I told them they should hear what you have to say. <laughs> Thank you. Well, thanks to you, we might actually win this thing. So I'll see you in the main boardroom at 3.30? I'll be there. You better. <clears throat> what are you looking for? Is that cute guy from bio? <laughs> no. No, I'm just looking for Harper. I haven't seen her all day. Have you? No, not that I've been looking for her. Oh, there she is. What is she doing? Just go talk to her. I think I should. Well, you're not gonna give up until you do, and if it means that I don't have to hear about it for the next four months, then I'll be right back. I'll be here. Harper? Harper? Okay, well, come on. We don't want to keep him waiting. No. <laughs> oh, Carter. What? Sweetheart. Hey, slow, slow down, please. Okay, what happened? Oh, okay, I'll be right there. I'll be right there. What's up? It, it's my daughter. There's been an accident. Is she okay? I, I, don't, I don't know. I think so, but it's her best friend. I, I... Okay, well, we have a meeting with the partners. You can't just leave. I'm so sorry, Nina. The partners will have to understand. No. They won't. Look, I stuck my neck out getting you this meeting. You can't just blow it off. Nina, I'm sorry. My daughter needs me. I have to go. Oh. Lacey. I, I found her in her car, and she, she, she had, she... Are you okay? Mom, they don't know if she's gonna make it. Where are her parents? <laughs> They're talking to a doctor, but... Can we stay yeah. until they come back? Yes, yes, of course. <sighs> I'm so glad you're okay. Finally, where have you guys been? Sweetheart, are you all right? My God, I've been trying to call you guys all night. Now, Soften's at the hospital. David, what are you doing here? We're supposed to meet here, remember? <sighs> right, I completely forgot. Oh, you forgot? Well, there was an attack on our daughter's school. I couldn't find you, and then I come home to find the police waiting. The police? Carter? Miss Carter? I'm Detective Lee from the North Haven PD. I'd like to ask you a few questions about Harper Evans. What kind of questions? Why don't we sit down? Lacey, can you tell me about what happened? I don't, I don't know what happened. I understand you were the one who found Harper in her car? I thought she was just sitting in there, so I went over, I knocked on her window. But she didn't... We've been friends since we were kids. I spoke to some of the other students at your school. They said you and... Harper hadn't been speaking recently. I was... We were in a fight. But it was... Stupid. What was the fight about? What does this have to do with anything? Teenagers fight. Emotions can run a bit high. D Detective, can I speak to you outside for a minute?
Detective, I hope you're not suggesting what it sounds like you're suggesting. What am I suggesting? I'm allowing you to interview my daughter to assist in your investigation. If she's a suspect, I am shutting this down right now. Mrs. Carter, I'm simply trying to find out what happened. By implicating my daughter? Is she implicated? The students at the school say she and Harper had a close relationship. They had a fight. Lacey was angry. You don't need to finish that sentence. We're done here. And if we're done here, maybe we can continue this down at the station. I'm an attorney detective. We're not going down at the station unless you have a warrant. And if all you have is the fact that two teenagers stop speaking, I think we both know there's not going to be any warrant. Good night. We can change your mind. You're with Homicide? This isn't a murder. Not yet. Given Miss Evans' condition, it might be by the morning. Good night. Where's the detective? Oh, he had to go, Lacey. But from now on, I don't want you talking to the police unless I'm there, okay? Why? I just trust your mom on this one, okay? Honey, why don't you get ready for bed? You must be exhausted. Yeah. Okay. Nice, sweetheart. Hey. Um, do you mind if I sleep in your room tonight? Yeah, of course, honey. Hey. Night. They're, they're just rattling cages. Okay. I mean, you don't think there's any way that she could have... No, of no. course not. Yeah, yeah. I guess a few bad grades isn't such a big deal. Yeah. I, I just keep thinking what if it had been her. Oh. Look, it's okay. She's, she's safe. No one's trying to hurt her. It's fine. It's fine. I can feel you watching me. No, 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 I'm not watching you. I'm watching you. <laughs> Are you sure you're okay? Are you hungry? Not since you made me a sandwich five minutes ago. Right. I know I'm helicoptering. No, it's okay. I don't mind. Any update on Harper? Uh, I spoke to her mom this morning. No change. I said I'd go over this afternoon so she can pick Kevin up from school. Okay, I'll take you. Don't you have to be at work? No, I told them I was working from home all week. How did that go? Don't worry about my job, okay? You've got enough on your plate. Lacey, you home? Cassie, hi. Mrs. Carter. I noticed Lacey wasn't in school today, so I just wanted to come and check up on her. That's nice of you, but she's sleeping right now. Wait for her. She's actually at her dad's. But I'll tell her you stopped by. Thank you. I'll be thinking of her. All right, thanks for coming. Bye, honey. Honey? What's going on? I just don't want to see her right now. She was with me when I found Harper, and she just disappeared. I, I had to get a ride to the hospital with Lindsay Sherman. Well, maybe she just didn't want to get in the way. No, I don't, I don't think that's what this is. She, she was really mean to Harper. I don't know, I guess I just, I feel kind of guilty. Like, I, if I wasn't ignoring her, maybe none of this would have happened. Hey, 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 you can't think like that. Okay, none of this is your fault. You had nothing to do with this. What? <laughs> it's Harper. 
She opened her eyes. Oh, thank God. Her mom said she's not talking yet, but the doctors think that she might in a day or two. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Hi, Harper. I hear you're getting better. I'll admit I'm surprised. I honestly didn't think you had that much fight in you. Good. I want you to hear this. Lacey is my friend now, and if you think that you're going to take her back, <laughs> you're dead wrong. Cassie! Lacey, hey! What are you doing here? I didn't know you were going to be here, but I just came to check up on Harper. That's funny. You didn't care how she was feeling yesterday. What do you mean? You took off, Cassie. Lacey, no. I ran to get help. I was trying to find the school nurse, but by the time I got back, you two were gone, and I didn't know what hospital you were at. Sorry. Um, I, I didn't know you were looking for help. I know Harper and I have had our different. No. Um, I'm happy that you're here. <laughs> so, did you hear anything? Do they know what happened? Uh, no. No, there was no camera in the parking lot, and, and no one saw what happened, so I think the police are just waiting for Harper to wake up and see if she saw anything. It's scary to think there's someone out there who could do something like this, to attack Harper and put her in her car like that. What do you, what do you mean? It just seems so messed up, like they wanted somebody to find her. No, no, I mean, what do you mean put her in her car? How do you know where Harper was attacked? No, I don't. I... I guess I just assumed, you know, with her injuries and stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna hit the vending machine. You want anything? No. No, I'm good. Okay. Thanks. I'll be right back. Police are asking for help in finding Southampton student Jennifer Smith, who vanished from her home on the day her stepmother was murdered. We have her on the hospital. Well, I think I, I scared her when I asked her how she knew about the attack. So where is she now? Well, we checked the address she gave to the school. The woman living there said she'd never seen her. But she did have a daughter named... Cassie Larson. She died several years ago. Jennifer must have been using her identity. Lacey, did she tell you anything that might help us find her? Where she was staying, who she was with? She said her mom and her moved here. But we never went to her place. She always wanted to come here. What about her car? Gray, four doors. I, I, I don't know. I, I didn't pay attention to it. Did she tell you why she was at the hospital? She said she was there to visit Harper. You think she was there to finish what she started? 
What about you, Mrs. Carter? Did she say anything to you that might help us find her? Honestly, I've been so wrapped up in my work lately, I, I wasn't paying attention. So what happens now? Well, we think she's probably headed out of the state. We've got patrols on the lookout in all the major highways. What about Harper? We've got an officer posted outside her door. She's safe. And what about Lacey? Is she safe? She never gave you any indication she wanted to hurt you, did she, Lacey? No. Well, my guess is she's 200 miles from here by now. But if you'd like an officer to stay at the house... That shouldn't be necessary. My husband's on his way over now. My ex-husband. Well, if you hear from her... Contact me immediately. I'll be able to triangulate her position from the cell phone towers. I guess this was more than just a disagreement amongst friends, huh? Mrs. Carter. Lacey. I believed her. Hey, I did too. It's your brother. David. Hey, I'm on my way. You guys all right? Yeah. Yeah, we're fine. The police... Any sign of her? No. They actually think that she's probably on her way out of the state right now. Well, thank God. I, I hope we never see her again. Oh, yeah, me too. Okay, I'm on, on my way. Thanks for coming. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you guys are safe. Come in. Sure. Where's Lacey? She's upstairs getting ready for bed. She should be down any minute. Okay. I'll make us some coffee. Yeah, right. How's she doing? Um, she's all right. You know, she's pretty shaken up. But she's handling things incredibly well. I don't know if you noticed, but we have an amazing daughter. I noticed. Well, at least we did one thing, right? Amaretto, you remembered. Well, we were married for 18 years. 18 good years? 17 of them were good. Look, Hope, I, I don't think I've ever told you how sorry I am. I wish I could take it all back. What's taking her so long? She's a teenage girl. You should try getting her out the door for school in the mornings. Oh, I miss getting her out of the door for school in the morning. And I miss seeing her when she came home from school, too. She misses you, too. Lacey! <gasps> I'll be right down. 
That means 10 minutes. Good girl. Cassie. Come on, Lacey. You know the truth. Call me Jen. What do you want? What do you mean, what do I want? I came back for you. I couldn't just leave you behind. What are, you, what are you talking about? I'm talking about taking your life back. From your parents who don't care about you. Your friends who don't understand you. I understand you, Lacey. Only me. Cassie. Jen. Jen? Just put the knife down. Okay, we can get you help. I'm free. You can be free, too. I can help you. I've done it before. Done what? Not everything I told you was a lie, Lacey. I've been more honest with you than I have anyone in my whole life. I felt I owed it to you since you'd been so honest with me. What do you mean? Your blog. That's how I found you. That's how I knew you'd know what I'd been through. See, when I told you my dad cheated, that was the truth. He found someone younger, prettier, sweeter. <laughs> sweeter to him, maybe. She convinced him to leave my mom. She took her husband, took her home. She took everything. Almost everything. My mom was out of the way. There was only one thing standing in between her and the perfect life that she had planned. You. She threw me out of the house. Convinced my dad they could start a whole life together without me. Huh. Turns out it's pretty hard to do that when you're dead. You killed her? He decided that he didn't want me. He didn't want my mom. So I decided... He wouldn't have anyone. I'm sorry. We don't do sorry. Remember? I knew. When I found out that your dad cheated on your mom, and I'd have to help you teach him the same lesson that I taught mine. What are you talking about? I'm going to take away everything. You can come with me. Over. Yes, I need the police. We have an intruder. I'm gonna need an ambulance right away to 1210 Chestnut Avenue.
Let me call for help. <laughs> Ambulance is out front. Where is she? Down the hall in my bedroom. okay with you guys. I think that would be nice. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> How's your job? Oh, it's good. Yeah? Yeah, I'm working half time so I can spend more time with Lacey before she's off to college. Oh, that's great. <sighs> Girls, one more. Aw. Lace, let me get one of you and your dad. Actually, could we get... All three of us? Harper? Yeah, of course. Thanks, Harper. That's great. Okay, hey, ready? <laughs> Come here, Mom. Yeah. <laughs> ready, guys? Smile. Maybe you could show me around. It's my first day. 